Welcome to Vanderbilt's library. We're here today to talk about your book loves. And if you could start us out just by telling us a little bit about who you are and how you came to Vanderbilt and what your first book that you fell in love with was. Okay, uh, I'm Alice White and I am a web editor at Welcome Collection and uh, was there with Comedian in Residence. Um, so I am here at Vanderbilt to do an editathon and to help improve some pages about women scientists on Wikipedia. What was the first part of that question? The other part of that question that I was supposed to be. What was the first book you fell in love with? The first book that I fell in love with was probably one of the Horrible History series and I think it was The Terrible Tudors. I saved up my pocket money for five weeks. I got a pound a week and it was 4 99 I saved up a pound a week and went to our local bookshop and uh, and bought this book because the cover looked amazing and it was about history and that, that was really exciting. Um, and after that first one I was completely hooked and built up an enormous collection that took up more than one bookshelf of horrible histories. So yeah, that's that sparked a love of reading and a love of history all at the same time. <laughs> have you ever reread it? I have reread several of the horrible histories. Um, I gave them to my cousins um, when I got a bit older, but then I recently saw uh, a sort of bumper collection when I was doing my masters, and 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 bought them and was rereading some of these books. Um, and we have a TV show in the UK called University Challenge where different university teams compete and answer very high level questions about uh, various different topics. And it just so happened that I'd been rereading my horrible histories that day and several of the questions on that evening's episode of University Challenge I got based on having read the horrible histories, reread them. Which was hilarious because normally I can maybe get one or two answers on that show. So I looked super brainy and all of the people I was with were really impressed, but I'd actually got all this information from rereading children's books. <laughs> Great. You're a historian and we, I was wondering if there was a book in your work that has influenced you. Yes, I think that Patricia Ferrer's Science of 4000 Year History is really inspirational because it's so hard to do those broad sweep histories where you cover so much ground and she does such a great job of making that really engaging to non-historians uh, just the, anyone who's interested um, and she does a great job of covering a, a real range of geographies and people and periods and reading that um, while I was thinking about graduate studies was a real inspiration and, and motivated me to that this was something I definitely wanted to do more of. Was there another book that captured your imagination as a reader before you hit college? Yes, the Terry Pratchett Discworld novels. I absolutely love those books. They really transport you to a different world that is familiar yet different. Um, there's so much humour and humanity in those those novels um, I'm always recommending them to people and I'm always hard pressed to choose a favorite from amongst them but if I really had to choose the night watch is probably my absolute favorite it's got everything it's got a, a mystery with a you know a police sort of procedural race to solve a crime, it's got magic, it has a little bit of heartbreak, it's got time travel, all of the things that make it a great book. And the cover is um, is fantastic as well, it's, it's modelled on Rembrandt's Nightwatch painting and it's just, it's brilliantly funny to match the contents of the book. Is there a book that you share with friends and family or folks that you work with? It really depends on the occasion, um, you know, what I've recently been reading. I usually, um, if I've read a good book, immediately want to pass it on to someone else. So uh, 
on my way over to Nashville for this trip, I finished uh, Lincoln in the Bardo and I've already handed that one over because um, it was written in a really quirky style, but it's it was so engaging. I really enjoyed that, so I wanted to share that with someone else. And can you tell us about a book that you remember getting that made an impression on you? A book that I remember getting that made an impression? Um, possibly Vile Bodies, because it was a hardback book and it looked like a proper classic, sophisticated novel in a way, and I hadn't really read anything that looked that grown up at the point that I was given that book and then to find that it was really well written but it was also very funny and sarcastic and catty um, yet encased in this very grown up serious shell <laughs> was, was a really pleasant surprise to me as I was getting more and more confident in reading classical, you know, the, the classics of literature. Great. Well, thank you so much, Alice. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.